Okay, here's a great confidence interval question. We need to know how to do confidence intervals, and the best part about them is that there's really just one formula that you jump right to. Let's read it. A sample of 125 observations. So right there, it's a sample, so I know n is 125. I like to jot these things down as we read the question. A normally distributed population has a sample mean. So sample mean, make sure we get that. That's x bar equals 8. And a sample standard deviation, so that's s of 12. So we don't know the population standard deviation. We don't know sigma. So right away we should be thinking oh, we might be in the t realm as opposed to the z realm. But they say using the extract from the z distribution given below, find the 95% confidence interval for the population mean. Okay, so first of all, uh, this data is from a normally distributed population. So we can assume that the sample is normally distributed which again normally you would use t values but because uh, we're we have a large enough sample and we're from a normally distributed population we're just going to jump to using the z values they actually tell us to do that too so find the 95 percent confidence interval first of all we should know our z value that we're going to use for a 95 percent confidence interval it's 1.96 the reason for that is if you look up in the z table in fact we have the extract here it says 1.9 and then the top row represents the second decimal so this column that means that this value this 0.975 that's the probability associated with a z value of 1.96 we know that z is the standard normal where zeros in the middle and 1.96 would be out here why does it say 0.975 in the table that represents 97.5 percent of the data is to the left of that point. Since we want the 95% confidence interval, that means our confidence interval is always in the middle of the curve. So we want to cut it off so that there is 2.5% here, the same 2.5% on the left side, and since it's symmetrical, we know this will be the z value of negative 1.96. That will make 2.5% there and that leaves 95 percent in the middle of those two values that's why 1.96 is the z value that we always use for a 95 percent confidence interval drop that right into the formula uh, so our formula for a confidence interval for this for the population mean is we start with the sample mean that's our best guess and then we're just going to add or subtract some margin of error and that margin of error is our, normally our t value in this case it's our z value of 1.9 I'll write the whole formula z times s over root n so I'll call that t but we're going to use the z values as, a, as our best proxy uh, and this is t star so I put the star there because let me clean that up a little bit I put the star there because it you know it's not always going to be the 95 percent confidence interval if it was the 90 percent confidence interval for instance let's look at that really quick if it was 90 that means we wanted 90 percent in the middle which means we want 10 percent on each end which means this value this z or t value must have 95 percent uh... sorry this should be five percent here and five percent here that means this z value must have 95% to the left. So in that case, we would go and choose 1.645. It's actually in the middle of these two. So that's z equals 1.645. Um, so we need to be able to read the table, but I would also recommend memorizing those two. So it's 1.96 for a 95% confidence interval, 1.645 for a 90%. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this. Uh, x bar is, so we're going to start with our best guess of 8 plus or minus our z value that we're going to use times the sample standard deviation of 12 divided by the square root of the sample size and that part is called our standard error right the um, standard deviation divided by the si square root of the size of the sample that's our standard error and if we get that if we calculate this it's 8 plus or minus about 2.1 which means our interval is 8 minus 2.1 to 8 plus 2.1 which equals an interval of 5.9 to 10.1 and that's why option A is our answer 
So hopefully that helps. Uh, or again, whenever it tells us to use Z or the sample's high enough or uh, it's from a, from a normal population, then we can just assume that this is our baseline um, confidence interval formula. I'll put sigma, but if you have to use S because you're only given S, that is fine too. So hopefully that helps. You can see how these formulas are, in this case, the exact same. Uh, anytime you have confidence interval, confidence interval questions, jump to those um, equations and make sure you're reading the table properly, as well as memorizing 1.96 for a 95% confidence interval. Thanks.